Hey there, friends. How's it going? My name is Saki. It's great to see you. What? Why are you looking at me like that? All right. Anyway, well, this is Kevin. We're going to be watching some TLC where a lady is obsessed with her puppets. What a weirdo, right, Kevin? Yep. But I think that's enough out of you. You could ah, you can go away now. I can't risk more characters coming in and taking away from me. I need the attention like Jim already got enough. This is why I bought this camera. So it's blurred in the background and you, you can't focus on them too much. Anyway, we're taking a look at April who spends 80 hours a week working with her puppets. That's a lot of time. I don't know how you do much else, to be honest. 4,000 hours a year. Jesus Christ. That's how much I used to play like Call of Duty. <laughs> like 4,000 hours a year. It's just ridiculous. It would be nice to spend time with just April and... Have her leave the doll at home. Oh my god, is it in the case? It's gonna suffocate. You can't leave it in there. Hello, how have you been? Oh no, it's a kind of scary because it kind of looks like her. Like it looks like it's a cartoon version of her. Do you think this is like her way of not having to directly interact with people? She uses this like, you know, puppet. Sorry, Saki's naked. I shouldn't have him on camera. May thinks that my sister is intimidated by her looks. Wait. Wait, hold on. That's a lot to unpack. So your name is April. Your friend's name is May. And... Hold on, my brain's imploding. <laughs> She's your sister, you're saying? The puppet? Hold on, let me just repeat that. May thinks that my sister's May. intimidated by sister her looks. Intimidated. Oh, May, you named the puppet May. That is more explainable. Yeah, that makes more sense. Sorry. I understand now. You're April, you named the puppet May. I was confused for a second. I was like, is this how you became friends? Do you know any Novembers by any chance? Put your hand in my mouth. Come on. No, no, what? No, Come on. You put your hand in my no, mouth. No, That's a little bit strange strange to be sitting alone with your friend and like put your hand in my mouth look at those crazy eyes jesus sleep paralysis demon right here do it, do it, do it. like no spoilers but if you've played the new resident evil she should have been in it you know replacing one of the other characters you know what i'm talking about i don't want to spoil anything how does that work with dating like because you have your puppets with you it doesn't <laughs> sorry i'll answer it for you you're not gargoyle walter so just like shut it like do you may you what? can't talk like that to my sister Wait, you can't just insult her and then say it was the puppet. Oh, she hit a nerve here. You're not Gargo Walters, so just like shut it. You're not Barbara Walters? Is that what? You're not Gargo Walters. So the problem is, despite you spending 4,000 hours a year with the thing, you're not very good at it. Like, I, not to insult you, but I just can't understand. You're not Gargo Walters, so just like shut it. Like, I think it was Barbara Walters, and now she's getting angry. She's like, you can't say that. It's so rude. <laughs> By the way, feck you. <laughs> You can't talk like that to my sister. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Oh my god, this must be so frustrating to deal with. Like, it must be incredibly difficult to have patience. I'm sorry. She's just having a day. She's having a day. <laughs> oh my god, the sister's so confused. And I don't blame her. And she's probably used to this. Like, we're confused. But the fact she's always dealing with this and is still confused, this is just... This must be very difficult for her. Maybe things would be easier if you, you know, didn't have to always carry around like a heavy puppet. You know what, bro? Like, no, no, no. Really Seriously. Bye. Oh. Oh, no. You got pissed off. I mean, it would be easier. That's just true. There's no escaping that. You can't use escapism on that one. Like, even traveling somewhere on a plane, you got to take an extra bag. That's inconvenient. Like, you could say, oh, it is it is inconvenient, but I don't care. But you can't just say, no, it's not inconvenient. I love Saki, but eventually I'm going to have to wear it on my feet. The horrors. Anyway, back to the video. No, apologize to May. I'm sorry, May. I, I know that in order to stay close to her, I, I can't tell her near the puppets. Oh, that is deep. That's like straight out of a movie. To stay close to her, I, I can't tell her near the puppets. Oh, wait, near the puppets. No, okay, hold on. I, I thought it was like something really like super deep, like like something out of a movie. I thought she was going to say, I can't tell her that in reality, where the puppets. But no, she was saying, I can't tell her near the puppets, I think. I, I don't know. Either way, I feel bad for the sister. You know, I worry as a mom. I worry about her not having health insurance. And I 
worry about her having enough money and not taking care of herself. That's different things to worry about, though. What about the puppets? Like, now you're just saying general mom stuff. Like, I want to know about the puppets. I'm going to take my mom to a theater where she's going to see me rehearse. Oh! May I... She's performing. Oh, no, she's not. <laughs> there is one person in the audience. And it's her mom who is dragged along. I thought it was she was actually doing a show. I hope she does a proper show. I went from my daughter what every mother wants. I want her to have 2.5 kids and a good husband. What does that mean, 2.5 kids? Are you hoping that she has two and then the second one is just half a kid? I don't get it. Is that a saying? I don't understand. Can you explain to me in the comments? Or maybe she left two human children and one can be a puppet. Oh my god. Oh, wait, there's more puppets. Oh, they're in a feckin' stack over here. Is, is May the main one then? What, uh, who are these ones? This one looks terrifying, whatever that is. Oh, God, who's this one? <laughs> Why is she just standing on the side of the street with the thing? April's going to see a therapist today. Oh, no, this is going to be hard. She's going to talk through the puppet, isn't she? So you seem very attached to them. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, that picture on the wall was absolutely terrifying. Look at that. I'm impressed by her dedication to match the face. That's pretty close. You'd have a good career in making thumbnails. How are you doing? I may. Oh no! <laughs> Even the tint goes black and white. She's not happy to be there. She's like, really? I want to be a therapist like in the movies talking to a puppet. So she may looks a lot like you, I notice. <laughs> She's like, what? No! I made this puppet to look ugly. What are you saying? <laughs> Imagine just goes off in a temper tantrum. She's sort of the bad girl of the group. The bad girl of the group. The group being both of you. What? She looks so done. She doesn't want to be here at all. Honestly, bad vibes. Bad vibes. You need to be friendlier. So you are here because you want to possibly explore why. Oh my god, her smile is so scary. I think it's because she's stuck in the smile that she does when she's talking and she's trying not to move her mouth. <laughs> Sorry, you're naked again. But you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like this constant smile that it's no there's nothing in the eyes. It's just like... <laughs> and it's it's weird. It's off-putting. And my mom says to me the other day, like, I want you to spend less time with the puppets and I want you to find a husband and, you know, maybe, you know, shovel snow and rake leaves and... I don't like shoveling snow and raking leaves. That's why I moved to the city. I mean, you don't have to... Oh, wait, it's not a choice between one or the other. You find something in the middle. You don't have to, like, be obsessed with puppets or just shovel snow and rake leaves. <laughs> like, there's plenty in between to do. <laughs> it's not an A or B choice. Hello, Mr. Q. I'm talking to you. I party all the time. I don't sleep. <laughs> And April, he's single. Oh, hold on, hold on one second. What, what is happening here? That is really close. They're extremely close. He is with someone else and her arm is around him. Why is she flirting with him through a puppet? This is all just bizarre. Wait, red nail polish. Hold on, go back. Was that actually her? Oh yeah, she does have her hand around him. Okay, she's made friends with a stranger in Times Square. I don't know if he's made friends, but she has made friends. It was either him or the puppets. I am so glad. Dad, what? I gave him up. Oh my god, that oh that would affect your self-esteem for the rest of your life. Imagine a situation where someone turns to another person and says, Alright, this is it. I'm engaged with you. It's me or the puppet. The person says, oh, I'll take the puppet, thanks. I would never emotionally recover from that. <laughs> he wanted me to change who I was. Mm -hmm. I am so glad I didn't. So when oh, you're out no. in public, are there any I, negative reactions towards me? One time I was doing a trade show. Oh, before. there was a negative reaction? I was surprised. I was going to say there probably isn't. Like, if you saw someone like being a ventriloquist, you'd think, oh, that's kind of neat. Like, that, you got a skill there. You wouldn't know they spent 4,000 hours a year <laughs> with them and broke up an engagement for the puppet. It's a tough one to digest. One time I was doing a trade show performance and a guy tried to have me arrested. Arrested? What did you do? It's like, oh, I didn't key your car. It was me. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, I always just want to tell them how I really think and feel about them. But I know okay. that it's not always the most kind approach. But when May says it, though. Right. So we are right. Oh, okay. So you don't want to punch her in the nose, but you want May to punch her in the nose. 
Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I think a lot of people could see that, like, even addressing stuff with her sister, just, like, indirectly with the puppet. It's just like, oh, that's not me doing it, it's the puppet, because she doesn't want to have that confrontation herself. <laughs> Look at me, I'm like an armchair psychi uh, psychologist here. But, but you know what I mean? I think that's like the obvious answer for it. She can be as bad as she wants to be, and that's sort of cool. Right, okay, because there's no... There's no repercussion, There's no, yeah. Right, exactly. She was surprisingly upfront about that. I like that. She was willing to just address the elephant in the room. I'm not insulting the psychologist, by the way. That's not what I meant by that. So why would you even think that? Why? I'm not a bad person. Where... Feck you! Sorry, I didn't even try that time. <laughs> Maybe we can look at and explore other ways to express yourself. Yoga, music, you know, something like that. I love to run. Mm -hmm. There you go! There you go, running, you see? She's like, now that I think about it, <laughs> I, I, I don't like shoveling snow, but there are other options in life. I also like that she literally wants to run from her problems. <laughs> I can relate to that, yeah, I like that a lot. My recommendation would be to explore, you know, these issues with anger or the tolerance, so you don't always have to express yourself through the puppets. I like the psychologist. I, I judged her too heavily at the start. I think it's because she didn't have a puppet. I didn't like how direct she was being without the use of a puppet. It pissed me off, frankly. But I think she, she got through to her and she had a good outcome in the end. I feel the therapy session went well. I learned some things about myself. I don't see any reason to put the puppets aside or to spend any less time with them. If anything, okay. I'm spending as much time with my children as possible. I didn't know you called them your children. Okay. Well, it didn't resolve anything, but you know what? At least she addressed it and she said she learned a lot. So there you go. The moral of the story is... <sighs> um... Never... Um... Don't be a puppet to what? Don't be a... Uh, uh, hold on, there's a moral in here somewhere. The moral of the story is... I don't know why I say it like that, assuming that I'm going to have an answer. The moral of the story is... Don't be a puppet to what people want you to be. The, there you go, that's the moral of the story. <laughs> she left them at home for a recent family gathering. Okay, the moral of the story is be a puppet to what people want you to be. And when I say that, I mean figuratively, not not like literally, don't like the, don't let them, you know, with the arm and it doesn't matter. That therapist seemed like she hated her job. I got that impression too, but she got there in the end. I think it went pretty well. I wanted to have 2.5 kids. Yes, someone else is confused. What does it mean? Tell me. It's a figure of speech that means the most statistically average family possible. So mathematically perfect, your kids aren't even a round number again. Okay, well, that's a weird saying. Okay, that's enough of YouTube for tonight. <laughs> you know it's not. When you go down this rabbit hole, you gotta keep going. You gotta look at another one. Like, how could you scroll past man reuses mouthwash to save money and knock click on it. Wait, hold on. I just realized why she named the puppet May. January, February, March, April, May. I, I didn't know, like, it was that hidden. I thought it was obvious. Why, uh, what? <laughs> oh, I never noticed that. I'm confused. Mind blown. Am I a genius? <laughs> oh, someone else said it. This video hits differently after playing Resident Evil Village. Someone else who has my vision. Thank you. Hey, everybody. I'm Laura Hughes. That's like when I get business emails like, hello, call me Kevin. <laughs> Just call me Kevin, you know. That's literally the name. I love the upbeat music in the end, even though literally nothing has changed. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that too. It was very upbeat, but I was like, it just came up that she's she's spending the same amount of time with her puppets. I'm glad she addressed stuff though. Wow, she looks just like the puppet. No, I think the puppet looks like her. I don't think it was the other way around. I knew that she was crazy when I noticed she was the only one that was wearing gloves. That's a clear sign. What? She's stuffing her hands up a puppet ass. She, she has to have the gloves. Yes, someone else who just fell for the same same thing. Are we going to ignore the fact that both girls' names at the beginning are April and May? It was the phrasing of it confused me. I know no one has thumbed them up, but at least that makes two people on this earth who understood it the same way. You know, I think I agree with VVMM. I think the moral of the story is, okay, 
that's enough YouTube for tonight. So we are going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new, consider subscribing. Would love to have you around regulars. I appreciate you so much for watching. I really do. I hope to see you all in the next video. That's it. Bye for now.